All right. Hello, hello, everybody. I am tapping in, and um, I am starting the video a little bit earlier than normal, just because I want to get all of my stuff out, and um, so you guys can join me as we start settling into class. I'm also going to use this extra time in the beginning to start telling you guys what kind of props I think may be beneficial um, for you guys during this little yoga flow. So I'm going to go ahead and start to roll out my mat. And uh, I think that some things that might be beneficial for y'all for this class would be some yoga blocks and some blankets. Um, the yoga blocks and blankets can be substituted, right? You know, if you have some textbooks, that was a big thing I did in college. <laughs> if you got some textbooks, if you have some, you know, some towels, some pillows will work too. If it really comes down to it, you can use your dog too because, I mean, look at him. <laughs> okay. And another thing that I think you guys might benefit from is if you have any lotion, uh, if you have a salve or anything, there's going to be a part in our class today where um, you guys will have a chance to give yourself a body massage. So I'm going to be bringing in some hemp salve I have just to really bring some extra relaxation. And as you start to grab your things, you know, take it nice and slow. There's no rush today. It's going to be a shorter class. And I think that might be Yeah, there's no rush to it. Um, today's going to be a nice short class. Uh, for those of you that have tapped in before into my classes, uh, lately we've been doing a lot of 45-minute classes, but today I wanted to intentionally um, have a shorter class because not everyone can, you know, really take 45 minutes to an hour to do a yoga class you know when I first started yoga I did 5 10 maybe 15 minute intervals of yoga daily and to me that was awesome but I also think it's really awesome when we can dedicate you know an hour of our day to a yoga class but today's gonna be a little short ditty um, but here I have the salve it has 400 milligrams of hemp oil and it just has this extra awesome cooling menthol and it just makes life really great but yeah if you're just tapping in I've just um recommended to the class to perhaps bring in some blankets and some yoga blocks which you guys can't really see so I'm gonna try my best to stay in um your guys's line of vision but some yoga blocks and some blankets might be really beneficial for today's practice and as always, um, I give you explicit permission to disobey me. What does that mean? That means that if I am cueing downward dog and in your body, you know, your wrists hurt and you're like, I don't really think downward dog is going to be a good pose for me today. Well, then you have a hundred percent discretion um, to say that, no, you're not going to do that today. I give you the permission to disobey what I am saying. It's always an invitation. Do what's going to make you feel good in your body, right? Because that's what's most important is ease, comfort in your own body. And today I'm going to give an extra gentle nudge to everyone to maybe just bring it, dial it back in a little bit, right? Like maybe you can go all the way over there in the side stretch, but maybe you just want to bring it back a little bit and just have a little bit of a practice of... Um, I was gonna, I don't remember what I call it. I was gonna say modesty, and that's definitely not what it is. Um, but just having a practice of being extra gentle on your body. So maybe you dial it in a little bit, you know, you go to your comfort edge and bring it back about 10%. But as always, like I just got done saying, you guys are autonomous, you guys are in control of your body, your experience. We create our own realities. So that being said, I'm hoping that you guys have all had a chance to roll out your mat. Maybe if you have a pet that decided to join you, maybe you got a good couple of uh, pets in there. Maybe you've gotten your props, if you choose to use it or not. And 
maybe you even take a nice big gulp of water before we begin. <clears throat> and wherever we are on the mat, I'm just going to ask us to begin to tap into today today's practice um, by joining me for a couple of nice breaths, as deep as you want them to be, before we start getting into the physical part of our practice. So maybe you join me in putting your hands on your tummy as you inhale and feel your tummy expand, almost like a balloon. And then empty it all out. And then maybe we inhale again together, balloon breath. Exhale, empty out the lungs completely. One more time. Exhale fully and completely. And wherever we are in the mat, I'm going to uh, ask that maybe you join me for a uh, cat-cow. And so for me, I'm going to slowly transition out of seated and come on to all fours. Making sure that my wrists, because I don't really typically use my um, my palms because I do have wrist pain, I like to come up onto my fists. Uh, another variation could also be on the forearms too. But today it feels good for me to have my wrists, or excuse me, my fists on the yoga mat and my knees directly below my hips. With my inhale, I'm going to drop the belly, arch my back, and slowly bring my head up to the sky. With my exhale, I'm going to do the opposite and curve my lower back down, curving the spine as I release my head. And go ahead and do a couple more of those at your own pace. Letting our breath smooth out any tension that we might find in our bodies. Feeling each vertebra as it moves through space. I'll be doing two more breath cycles before I move on, but you can stay here if you'd like. When I feel like I've had enough of cat-cow, I'm going to inhale and return to tabletop. And from here, I'm going to slowly bring one knee up and through my arms to find runner's lunge. This would be another point where um, your blocks might come in handy. Bye-bye. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out my blocks here. Hello. And this is going to help bring the ground up to me more. So instead of me hunkering down, it's going to allow me and my body to find a little bit more space in the front and in the heart space. 
So I have my ankle right below my knee. And if it feels good, we can go ahead and bring the knee back a little bit more. It's gonna be a deeper stretch. And actually, you can always fold over the yoga mat to bring a little bit more of a cushion to the knee. I'm actually gonna call upon my blanket here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that underneath my knee. And that's just because I know that my knee needs some extra love. So even if I can um, have that deepening in my groin, I do like to have some extra love to my knee. So we have the ankles underneath the knees, a block to help bring the ground up to us. If it feels comfortable, we can bring that knee back or we can lift it up too. But this feels good for me today. And I'm gonna make sure my hips are square. So not one hip out and the other one out here, but really making sure that they are aligned in space. And we'll chill here for about five breath cycles. Extending through our spine, maybe finding a deeper lunge. Maybe finding a baby back bend. And after we feel like our body's had enough, we can come back and switch out our knees. Nice and slow, bringing our other knee down and switching the alternate, the opposite up front. So again, finding proper alignment here. We have the ankle underneath the knee our blocks to bring the ground a little bit closer to us or you can be down here too you don't need your blocks and a nice fluffy blanket to cushion our knee I'm actually gonna bring that a little bit back more squaring our hips so they are in the same plane and space lifting through our spine and opening the heart space as we let our breath relax our bodies. So after about five breath cycles or as many as you like today, I'm going to invite us all to bring the knee that is back up forward in space, forward fold. Ooh. So from here, you can keep your blocks here. Um, it's nice to have blocks in forward fold because it really does bring uh, the ground up to you. And you can focus on proper alignment instead of trying to stretch your hands to the ground. But for me, I don't need my blocks today. So I'm just gonna place them to the side. And as I'm breathing deeply in our forward fold, on my next inhale, I'm gonna rise up halfway, extending through the spine, relaxing my shoulders. And on my next exhale, I'll fold back down into forward fold. On my next inhale, rolling it up nice and slow all the way up to mountain pose. Feeling as each vertebra in the spine slowly comes up. Letting our heads be the last thing to unroll. Nice and slow so the change in pressure does not bother our head. So for mountain pose here, I'm going to lift my arms up on my next inhale as high as you want it to be today. So if you want to stop here, that's absolutely fine. If you want to keep going up, that's cool too. And on my next exhale, 
I'm gonna rain it down and slowly fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Extending through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Letting the back roll over the knees. Inhale into mountain pose. Rolling up nice and slow, vertebra by vertebra. Mountain pose. One more time, lifting the arms up as much as we want to today before bringing them down, forward fold. Find your flow, find your ease. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up nice and slow. Mountain pose. One more time. Inhale, arms up as much as you want. Exhale, forward fold, moving through space. Inhale, halfway lift. Extending through the spine, still having a nice bend in our knees. Exhale, fold forward. And from here, you can go ahead and do one more cycle of mountain pose, forward fold. Or you can join me as we bring the knees back down nice and gently onto the ground. And next we'll be doing child's pose. So another moment when our blankets um, could come in handy. So I'm gonna take the rolled up blanket and I'm gonna use that again as a cushion for my knees. making sure I'm in. <laughs> I'm actually going to do two layers because I really, really want to give my knees some extra loving, some extra comfort. I have had lots of knee problems in the back, in the past, so I really want to make sure that I take my time and really give some love to my knees. So using that as a comfort, um, as a pillow, <laughs> I'm going to find a child's pose with my knees open. Now normally, when I do child's pose with um, a wide knee variation, I usually do them yoga mat distance. But today, since I'm going to try to be a little bit more gentle with my body, I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. So instead of being out, I'm just going to bring dial it in just a little bit more. And I am going to let my arms rest behind me as I find forward fold and your chi or <laughs> child's pose and your child's pose can be any variation but we'll be here for about eight breath cycles I'm going to slowly roll up. And from child's pose, I'm going to transition into a crisscross applesauce. 
And if your home is like mine and it's not completely silent, that's okay. We just have to find our inner stu our inner stillness, our inner quiet. So I think I'm actually going to do crisscross applesauce on top of a block. Just so I can um, extend through my spine with a little bit more ease and create some space in the hips for my body. All bodies are different, of course. So if you sit on a block during crisscross applesauce, it might make your back feel better. But for my body, it makes my hips and my spine feel a little bit better. But as long as it does, some comfort to you, that's all that matters. So before we begin our body massage part, I'm just gonna have some side stretches so you guys can join me if you'd like, or you can go straight to massaging your feet, your temples, your jaw, all of that. But if you're gonna rock with me, I'm gonna roll up through the spine, make sure it's extended, make sure I'm not slouching, but creating space in my spine and in my heart space. I'll put one hand down to the ground as I inhale and lift up the opposite arm. Any amount that you'd like today before we tilt over like a little teacup. <laughs> inhale back to center nice and slow. Exhale, find the stretch on the other side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, side stretch. Maybe looking up towards the sky as you saw, or stretch to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. And I'm going to be doing that um, little side stretch action, um, let's say three more cycles. Stretching at your own pace, that feels good. Letting the breath deepen your stretch. And I'll be doing one more round. And once you've balanced out your side stretches, I hope you'll meet me back in center for our body massage part. So this is the part where I said if you had some lotion or if you had any um, salve or anything that's going to really help feel your, um, anything that's going to really help your body feel nice and relaxed. And I'm just going to tie up um, my locks here so that I can use the salve. And not get it, hopefully not get it all in my hair, but we'll see. So I'm going to begin by massaging my forehead nice and gently. Just doing circles with a little bit of pressure. Not too much though. And I'll breathe deeply, as deeply as I want to today, as I slowly move down my forehead into my temples. Letting my touch be warm and affectionate to myself and full of love. As I move on down and 
rub my jaw. And then perhaps from the jaw, we move down to our neck. Touching our body in a way that feels good, right? Not everybody can pay $80 for a massage. But what we can do is give ourselves, give our bodies a little bit of loving. Breathing nice and deep, maybe traveling down the shoulders. And this is where I'll call to action my salve to really give my body some extra love, some extra oomph during this lovely self-love. Practice. And of course, if you're if your thighs are calling you, go ahead and massage your thighs. If your feet are calling you, go ahead and massage your feet. Maybe that jaw massage was just like, mm, was just doing it to you. Whatever part of your body is asking for attention, go ahead and give it to yourself. I'm gonna travel down into my arms, my elbow, whatever part of my arm this is, <laughs> maybe rotating circles in the wrists, maybe wiggling our fingers a little bit, just giving all parts of your body some love. And letting your breath be your anchor, or maybe a sound, just something to bring you back into the space. Should your thoughts wander. And in just a little bit, we'll be transitioning into our silent meditation and our lovely little yoga class will be done for today. And I'm going to invite us all before we end and uh, move into our meditation for tonight. Maybe you go and reach your arms out and give yourself a nice big hug. Exhale, bring your arms out. Inhale, opposite arm on top this time. So the one that feels funky, bring that one on top. All right, homies. I'm going to ask us all to find a comfortable position to begin our silent meditation. So if crisscross applesauce feels good for you, you can absolutely stay here. I'm going to transition onto my back nice and slowly. And when I find myself on my back, I'm going to use the blankets that we used earlier in today's class as a pillow for my head. We're all about the comfort today. <laughs> so as I slowly transition onto my back, I'm going to bring my knees up, heel toe, heel toe, my feet onto the edges of my yoga mat. And I'll let my knees fall in. I'm 
Once we have found our comfortable resting position, I'm going to ask that we breathe deeply for the next three minutes. And if our mind does wander, just come back to the breath. Come back to this moment. Feel your body in space and come back. Even if you can only get one second at a time of no thoughts, that's beautiful, right? Because there's no wrong way to meditate. We'll just let the thoughts pass by. So, <clears throat> I will bring us back after the three minutes. Until then, I will see you on the other side. We're halfway there. everyone it's been about three minutes let's slowly come back into our bodies into this moment perhaps coming back into this moment looks like wiggling your toes a little bit 
and then maybe we wiggle the fingertips and slowly bat the eyelashes open. If you're in this lower back uh, release position that I am in, I'm going to ask that we heel toe, heel toe the feet back together. And then let the knees fall to one side as we roll over to that side and slowly come on up. If that felt good, maybe you stay in that meditative Shavasana. If not, I thank you for joining me today in this short yoga class. A little backstory, this rising, I went to Dunkin' Donuts and the car that was in front of me and my partner was kind enough to pay for our order. It was so, so nice, so... It made me feel very happy. As someone who is back to being a full-time entrepreneur, to know that someone else had abundance and decided to share it with us, I'm literally tearing up, decided to share it with us without, um, there was no expectation of a reward, but they were kind enough to share their abundance with me. And so I felt really called to do a free yoga class because that is a, a source of abundance I have a wealth of knowledge in. So I was like, wow, they shared some love and abundance with me. I'm going to share some love and abundance with other people. So yeah, it was a good day. So I hope you guys have a really great day uh, or night whenever you're watching this. And um, I'm going to ask that you guys, too, if you guys um, have any sort of abundance in your life, whether that's physical money, uh, if it's a hug, if it's, you know, advice, if it's knowledge, if it's something that you can share with the community, I really just ask that um, you share it. You share it um, without expectation of a reward. But knowing that just by putting that good juju, that good vibes, that love energy out into the world, that um, good things will come to you times three. Times trying. So that being said, I just ask that you guys slowly transition off the mat and move on into the rest of your day, night, whatever it looks like. All right, y'all. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.